Windows analysis is a forensic schedule analysis technique that involves interim assessment of delays on updated schedules at specific intervals or specific windows. That's what I will show you guys to understand on graphical visualization. So in applying this methodology, the overall performance superior being analyzed is partition using available contemporaneous progress update. So that thing can help you guys to understand that you need progress contemporaneous records as well as as build data and you have to make different kind of windows uh, of your project schedule. How you to have to do that I will share. It focus on comparing as planned, updated and as built project schedules to identify and quantify delays to the critical path of the project. How it will happen? Here is one graphical visualization where I'm going to show uh, how baseline will be compiled. This is your baseline critical path and uh, these are the relationships and there is non-critical activities and showing complete your project baseline. That is your contractual completion date, which is going to deliver your project in 60 days. And uh, here you have to make different kind of windows when you are going to apply windows analysis. That's why its name is windows analysis. Now this is first window and this one is the second window and the third window and the fourth window. You can label all these windows like this way so that uh, now for working on window analysis, uh, delay analysis, construction claims methodology, you have already partitioned. Now you have to consider this timeline as a baseline for this specific time update your project schedule if there is any delay event happening in this timeline then you have to update incorporate that delay fragment and check what is impact on your project cpm so that's what we are going to learn in today's methodology and the purpose of the analysis the most important th thing to understand the spirit of this methodology because uh, in most of my lectures I deliver this thing to my planning engineers and delay analyst specialist guys to have all the concepts in your mind because when you are sitting on the table to justify your logic your argument these things should be in your mind so first thing this methodology is a retrospective analysis the previous one few technologies are methodologies are prospective forward looking but this one is retrospective backward looking collecting your data and then predict your project completion that uses the project schedule updates to quantify the slippage to the critical path during a select period of time once all critical path activity delays has been quantified the origins and causes of each delay are determined the responsibility for each delay is then apportioned to either the contractor owner a third party if appropriate and to force major or other excusable delays defined by the contractor the same thing we are already doing in other methodologies that you have to prepare narrative report you have to tag your delay events that who is responsible for that certain delay here your window partition window will be numbered like window one window two window three and same way delay chronology d1 d2 d3 d4 whatever and then the start date and i'm going to actually hide these dates because we don't have anything we will uh, fulfill this sheet along with our updation on primavera p6 and these things as well let's start uh, applying window analysis uh, while having our delay analysis and construction claims here i have primavera p6 baseline and we will share with you the template uh, what we have to develop from Excel, uh, you can uh, label it as a contemporaneous record or window analysis table in which uh, that is actually different from the previous methodology time impact analysis. Here I have already added one more column which will show windows, but we have to uh, segment our project schedule uh, windows so here i have uh, categorized window one then delays there can be multiple delays it's not necessary there can be only one delay in one window there can be multiple delays so you can add more rows to clear your true picture and then when window is going to start when window is going to finish then uh, the uh, activities on which these delays are going to impact the activity ids are here the description of those activities then the reason type excusable non-excusable compensable duration 
the duration of that delay event and the true impact of that delay event. So that sheet have to be maintained along with this case. I will share with you Primavera P6. Right now we are going to have this exercise. So this case actually you have to keep two things in initial stage in your mind that first make sure that you have already assigned your project baseline. Okay. You have to assign this project baseline so that you can have required results. That's what I have already done. And the second thing you have not to provide delays in the separate window. You have to uh, separate WBS. You have to provide that delay in the same, uh, you know, um, WBS to make the part of that window. So how to do that? I'll share with you the Excel sheet to make you clear about the first delay is about uh, is D1. And uh, I will share with you how to add this delay in Primavera P6. So I'm going to add actually this delay belongs to this work package design uh, in between design and approval. So I will add one activity over here. So as per our previous uh, discussion, we have known this thing in very clear way that uh, we need a baseline, we need as many data, we need contemporaneous records, and we need to make our CPM uh, not uh, static, but as a dynamic, our CPM should be changing as we are going to update our project schedule. So out of that, we have to keep this thing uh, in our mind that 13th October, 9th January, 77 days, and there is the one. And uh, as I, uh, want this delay when in between these two activities. So what I need to do, I have to change this activity ID to make it in between these numbers. So what I want to do, I want to make it here 75 to see that magic. So you can see like this way. The second step to make resequence of these activities. Design submission was done. After that, client offered some scope changes. So it is uh, it was uh, labeled as delay event like scope changes and it was like uh, eight days. It's required to finalize that delay and uh, uh, we have to resequence our activities linkage. Here, the predecessor successor activity will be removed uh, and it will be like this one. And then the successor activity will be approval. Okay. And now you can see it has been adjusted. Now what I need to do, I can have here a new uh, duration, 85 days, and uh, there is same dates over here. Why? I will show you that reason.